A group of runners arrived in Kiev after a 400-mile journey from Warsaw to mark the first anniversary of Ukraine's Maidan protest movement. Ukrainians welcomed the 28 Polish journalists, activists and others as they jogged into Kiev's independent square. During the journey, several teams took turns running while others rested. The organisers said the run to the Maidan was intended to honour Ukrainian activists' bravery and commitment to European values. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko visited the Moldovan city of Balti to meet with members of the large Ukrainian community there. Young ethnic Ukrainians welcomed Poroshenko on November the 20th with the flags of both countries and the European Union as the president laid flowers by a bust of Ukrainian poet Taras Shevchenko. Speaking to a large audience, Poroshenko encouraged Moldovan citizens to work towards European integration. Mourners in the Turkish town of Suruc buried a Kurdish fighter killed in Kobani, just across the border with Syria. The funeral on November the 20th took place at the Kobani Martyrs Graveyard, where at least 60 fighters have been buried since mid-September. The northern Syrian city of Kobani is in the throes of a battle between militants of the Islamic State and Kurdish militiamen. In Peshawar, northwest Pakistan, a roadside bomb blast killed two security officers and injured two other people. Officials said the explosives were planted on a motorcycle and detonated by remote control as a military convoy passed by. A faction of the Pakistani Taliban has claimed responsibility for the attack. Also in Peshawar, people displaced from their homes in the Khyber tribal district arrived at camps set up on the city's outskirts. Hundreds of thousands have fled the fighting in Khyber district since the Pakistani military launched a new operation against militants last month. Pakistan's Minister of States and Frontier Regions said this week that nearly two million people have been displaced from the country's tribal regions. An Orthodox Christian church, a Catholic monastery and an Islamic mosque complex were all on the itinerary as Bosnian theology students of different faiths visited religious sites around the city of Mostar. The 35 students are on a tour of Bosnia-Herzegovina intended to boost mutual understanding between faiths. The annual event is organised by Bosnia-Herzegovina's Interreligious Council and Germany's Konrad Adenauer Foundation. Wheelchairs dominated parking spots in the Georgian capital Tbilisi during an activist group's campaign to remind drivers of the rights of disabled people. The event was also filmed as a public service message to be released on December the 3rd, the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.